business is good. And as you can see, I'm excited. Money is coming into my pocket all the time. Every family in the Northwest relies on agriculture for their livelihoods. When there's a crop failure, when there's climatic issues that affect agricultural production, then it puts them in a very precarious situation. Feed the Future Nigeria Livelihood Project is a USAID funded project. The project is introducing new disease resistant, drought tolerant varieties to vulnerable households. We've trained them on best agronomic practices and we introduce several technologies that will increase productivity to our farming household. Uh, we've also introduced best practices for processing and storage. Now, as this program started, they introduced us with new seed, new soya beans. Before we are plant the uh, local one, we get like 50 kg by hectare. Now we get 750 kg soya beans by hectare. We also support communities by implementing the CROS Global SIG methodology, which is service and internal learning communities, where members of the communities form themselves into a group to be able to pull resources together and learn among themselves. In addition to that, we support vocational and technical training programs. So as we speak, we've been able to catalyze rural economy and increase household incomes through different kinds of businesses small-scale businesses and other businesses that is adaptable to the rural settings. When the Kuyu Shisana at the Hanuk, Abu Nashibuka, Basi, Canada, one of the Chinese Junk, was a government cook is a gala, cook is a lot of women in the community has started in petty trading, the goat rearing, chicken rearing, and some has even used part of the money to send their kids to school. They now realize that they themselves can do it themselves without waiting for anyone. Because we have been able to stimulate rural economic growth, rural households are able to increase their income, they are able to put their parts out of poverty to prosperity. 